Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Habibi Ziyad, you asked about numbers 16, 27, and 41 in March 2021 EST, otherwise known as January 2021. All right, so your first question is number 16. The first thing that you're going to do when you look at your question is you're going to look at the differences in the answer choices. The words are exactly the same, but what's the difference here it are um, the differences in the punctuation marks. So you're going to ask yourself, what punctuation marks do I need? Go back and check for your subject, your verb, and your complete sentence, your complete thought. All right. So I'm going to read from the beginning, looking for my subject, my verb, and the complete thought. Here it says, the popularity of these tools exploded. Exploded is my verb. The popularity of these tools is my subject. And then uh, here's my complete thought. The popularity of these tools exploded. One offered, what, one offered free software enabling users to block pop-up ads. All of this in the middle, it's non-essential. So I need to put a comma before and a comma after. When you have a non-essential, you need to put a comma before and after your non-essential. You can't just put it after. This is a prepositional phrase that's coming in the middle and it's long. It's more than five words. So you need to put a comma before and after. So I'm going to have to put a comma before and after. This one doesn't have a comma before. This one doesn't have a comma before or after. This one has a semicolon. What comes after is not a complete sentence, so I can't put a semicolon here. A complete sentence has to have a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. And so that's why your answer here is B. I put a, sem a, call, a comma before and a comma after. So that's why your answer here is B. Okay, your next question is number 27. In number 27, what does it say? Here's number 27. All right. Um, in number 27, you're going to look for what are the differences in your answer choices so you can figure out what um, your answer would look like. If you look at the answer choices, the difference is right here. Okay, here you have a period, here you don't you have a comma, here you don't have anything, and here you have a colon. So you're gonna when you have differences in punctuation, you go back and you look for your subject, your verb, and your complete thought. So here it says. This interplay between personal observation into music and the sense that it is nevertheless something public is what makes music so important. Is is your verb. This interplay is your subject. And you have a complete thought until the word individual is what makes music so important in the cultural placing of the individual. So that's your complete sentence. Then you have another complete sentence right after it. It says, music also gives us a way of managing the relationship. So you have two complete sentences. It gives is your verb, music is your subject, and you have a complete thought. You can't put a, um, a comma between your two complete sentences. You can't put nothing between your two complete sentences. This sentence does not explain the first one. It doesn't explain why. So I'm not going to put a call in here. So that's why C is your answer. You're going to put a period between your two complete sentences. Tamam? That's number 27. Your next question is number 41. In number 41, you have different um, idioms in, on, on, effectively, in effect. So you have to figure out what's the idiom that you want here, and you need to know what are the differences in the meanings between the words. Look up those words, please. Make sure that you understand the differences between them. And the idiom that works here is in effect, okay? We never say on effect, uh, in effect. These two never are used. Look up the word effectively so that you know that what its meaning is and your answer is A. It seems like you have a problem with, um, with sentence structure. Look up sentence structure and look up um, run-ons so that you know how to answer the questions that you got, um, that you're asking about, okay? Um, good luck, Habibi.